One day, while making our way to Foundation, we see that someone has erected a big tent just outside the Foundation gates. Here we find a couple of people walking around and a lady hollering at us. Why pay full price when you can buy my recreations at a discount? Next to her stands a guy wearing a blue fedora named Tommy Tentos. If you're looking to buy something, talk to Minerva. I'm just a hired muscle. Nobody's got to talk to me. Of course, you could talk to me. I love talking. Uh, you, uh, you want to talk to me? How's life as a caravan guard? Oh, well, you, you know, none too bad, none too good. A lot of walking, a bit of shooting, and mostly just uh, standing around trying to look all intimidating like. How'd you get your name? Well, they call me Tommy Ten Toes on account of my ten toes. On the one foot. They used to call me Tommy the Nose. Pretty sure it's because I knows a lot. I knows about business. I knows about guns. I knows it all. Uh, but, uh, after getting all ghouly, they stopped calling me the Nose. Uh, maybe they don't think I knows it like I used to. Mm. But I got these toes, though, you know, more than I can count. <laughs> Wait, uh, 15. Fifteen toes. Now you see, Tommy still knows. Hold on a second. Ten toes on one foot? Oh, yeah. You want to see him? Oh, sorry. Minerva said I can't be taking my shoes off in front of customers no more. <laughs> Especially after what happened at Chattanooga. That poor little doggy. Oh, thanks for the story, Tommy. Hey, anytime, Pally. What's it like working for Minerva? Yeah, to be clear, Tommy don't work for Minerva. Tommy works for the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. But seeing as I only ever get to pad with Minerva, I guess it don't make much difference. Anyway, she's all right. Hey, you know that she draws them pictures of guns and stuff herself, right? And people are actually buying them? Maybe I should sell some drawings, too. I draw animals real good. Like them kangaroos so, and uh, the rhinoceroses. And, of low prices. I love rhinoceroses. On these bargains. You ever been to the zoo? I miss zoos. No. You see, that's too bad. There's not enough zoos these days. People are being deprived, I tell you. Or we could have said, of course. Yeah, I thought so. You look like the zoo type. <laughs> Got it right again, Tommy. Talk to you later, Tommy. Another time, then. Okay. Moving towards Minerva. Hello, Appalachia. My name's Minerva. My game's handcrafted replications of the rarest plans and recipes. Every component and mechanism recreated precisely to a fraction of a hundredth of a millimeter. Minerva, at your service. Looking for some weaponry schematics? Maybe a pattern for a swanky new set of armor. What sort of things do you sell here? <laughs> You'd think with all the carnival barking I do, I wouldn't get this question much. But alas, here I go, answering it again. My caravan sells recreations of all sorts of rare plans and recipes, at discounted prices, no less. I've got what you'd call a photographic memory. If I've seen it, I can picture it and draw it exactly so. The human copying machine, they say. But I suspect that name will lose its veneer once anyone that remembers copying machines has died off. If you're interested in plans at unbeatable prices, I'm the best that the Blue Ridge Caravan Company has. A photographic memory? Isn't this a waste of your talent? And what else could I be spending my talent on, pray tell? Turning a profit is all I know, and all I ever want to know. You're with the Blue Ridge Caravan Company? Sure am. Been with them since I was a pint-sized brainy brat. I'm originally from D.C. Survived the bombs thanks to my local library, seconding as a bomb shelter. Wound up wandering from group to group until my talents caught the eye of some Blue Ridge folks passing through. I ended up being an apprentice for a book salesman and rewriting books by hand. He was a dear friend, 
and a great mentor. After he passed, I took over his caravan, switched from books to something a little more catered to the modern survivor's needs, though. But Blue Ridge are my business partners and my family. I couldn't ask for a better one. How long will you be here? Not long. So if you've got your eye on something, act fast. My stock is constantly rotating with new and exciting observations from my travels. But that also means you're unlikely to see the same thing on back-to-back -back visits, so grab what you can while I'm here. Wait, I thought you'd make all this from memory. Why can't you just offer everything all the time? My mind may be unending, but I can only draw so much before my wrist snaps in two. Not many treatments for carpal tunnel syndrome in the wasteland, you know? What's with the big ghoul in the hat? Tommy? Well, it wouldn't be a caravan without someone riding shotgun. He may seem intimidating, but he's a big, goofy teddy bear. Loves to chat, so say hi. Try and steal something, though, and he will rip your sternum out. I've seen him do it. Very graphic. All right, see you later. Mm-hmm. But don't forget, I won't be around here forever. Make sure you grab the goods you want before they're gone. So that's Minerva. She arrived with the Steel Rain DLC. She has a Brahmin named Minos, another reference to Greco-Roman mythology. And like she said, she has a rotating inventory. As of this recording, she was selling plans for the entire Brotherhood recon set, a floater flamer grenade, and the Gauss shotgun with a small selection of Gauss shotgun mods. The real benefit of finding Minerva is that all of these plans are 25% off, and they don't require any faction, quest, or level requirements to purchase them. The problem is that we never really know where she's gonna be, or which plans she'll have on her inventory. Luckily, Minerva has figured out that she has a better chance of actually selling her goods if she strikes camp outside of populated areas, and therefore she only spawns in one of three locations, either outside Foundation, outside Crater, or outside Fort Atlas. Whichever one she chooses appears to be random, and her location changes every week. But she's not there all week. She usually shows up around noon Eastern Time on a Monday and only stays through Wednesday. And then she's gone for the rest of the week. She keeps that schedule for about three weeks, but on the fourth week, she appears around noon on a Thursday and stays from Thursday to Monday. This fourth week is special because on the fourth week, she has Minerva's big sale. The only difference between her regular inventory and her big sale inventory is she has about three times the number of plans available for sale. In this example, she only had the Gauss shotgun weapon available for sale, but the following week, during Minerva's big sale, she had the Gauss shotgun, the Gauss minigun, the plasma caster, the gutter, and a bunch of armor, weapon mods, and settlement objects for sale. At the moment, she has 24 different inventories that she can spawn with, 18 regular inventories, and six big sale inventories. Each inventory will have a small selection of some of the best goods available in Appalachia, and sometimes, weeks later, some of the same goods will appear in subsequent inventories. The Gauss minigun, for example, appears four times, twice in her regular inventories, and twice in her big sale inventories. She never sells all plans available in the game, but she does sell many of the rare ones, including most of the sought-after weapons and armor. A 25% discount can go a long way, so if you can predict which week she'll appear to sell, for example, the T-65 set, you can save a bunch of bullion by buying the plans from her. Minerva is just one of the many new caravan merchants that have appeared in Appalachia after Wastelanders thanks to the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. I did a video exploring the lore of the Blue Ridge Caravan Company and their event called Riding Shotgun that you can watch here. The Blue Ridge Caravan is one of the more interesting factions that has arrived in Appalachia with plenty of colorful characters, like uh, Tommy Tentos here. In our next episode, we'll start the full story of Steel Rain, which picks up where we left off with the story of Hope Steel Dawn. I publish many Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss that episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. 
If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. You can find them on other items as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and patrons on Patreon gain access to a private channel on my Discord server, and YouTube members get little badges that appear next to their names in the comment sections of my videos and access to ox emojis that they can use in my video comments and in the live chats of my live streams. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.